All right, guys, this is starting to actually look like a pond. Um, as you can see, the walls are pretty steep, but what he's been doing is separating rock, at least big rock, from uh, dirt and uh, putting some back in to create some slope. That hole is deeper than it looks like, I promise you. You gotta climb up on those tracks. We're at about five foot of depth by the time this is done with. And uh, it was really tough. I mean, I'll get some video later that I'll splice into this and show you the size of some of these rocks that came out of here. There's some little ones right there. And I mean it, that is a little rock right there. That is tiny, you think I'm joking? What do you see the other ones? But what we're doing now, we actually have some dirt on that back side. And we're using the front end of the machine to push it back to make the pond wider. It won't be very deep back there, but that's all right. We want some slope. You know, we want slope for a couple reasons. Because one, we gotta get all that bentonite there compacted on this thing, or it ain't gonna hold no water. And you can't compact bentonite if you got a slope like that. We wanna be able to get that machine in there just like he's doing and be able to drive and pack that down. And we're just pushing dirt back now. This is the easy part. He's been out here for about six hours at $350 an hour, by the way, doing this work for me. And as you can see, the pond is not gonna be much bigger than the original footprint. The contractor that bailed on me said we were gonna take the pond back to about the back of that dirt pile, and uh, it ain't happening. He was quoting the job, by the way, with a machine about half this size. This piece of equipment right here is about 34,000 pounds. Um, you know, I mean, that's a, a pretty sizable piece of equipment, and uh, I've, I've been talking with the operator, and he said this is the absolute smallest machine he wanted to do this job. But we're actually on short strokes now. We're finally getting to where this is all starting to make sense and look like it's going to work out. I was pretty worried for a while. We'll give you some more uh, shots as we clean it up. But all we're going to really end up with here is a great big hole full of water, which is closest thing to a pond we're going to get out here. we got an awful lot of material uh, to work with. You see that guy standing up there? He's actually standing on some of the slabs he brought out. I bet you there's some slabs over there that weigh two and a half to three tons a piece. And uh, I'll show those to you later. We're going to try to figure out where to put them to make them look good in this uh, setup. We'll catch up with you in a bit. 